Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about the key differences of doing a clean install versus a reset this PC and remove everything and also we'll check for what's the difference in upgrading and keeping everything and erasing everything and what I prefer. So basically this question came in a lot in the past week. A lot of people wanted to know uh, what are the differences and what I think about them? Well, first of all, let's be clear, a, clean, a reset this PC option where you remove everything is pretty much a clean install um, by itself. So if you have nothing to do, if you have only a one operating system, you just want to reinstall Windows 10 and that's it. You just, you know, go to the notifications area, just click all settings. Once you're in the all settings, you go into the update and security tab. There you'll see recovery at the left side and you'll see reset this PC, get started. There you can actually restart your PC by keeping all files and reinstalling Windows or erasing everything and reinstalling Windows. So when you erase everything and uh, reinstall Windows, this is a good option and is perfect. It is a good clean Windows install. Everything is gone from the last install and you only have the real install that's left, the real basic files. But a clean install, a clean install is something that you do from an external um, media. So for example, you'll go to the download Windows 10 on the page of Microsoft. You'll download the ISO file using the download tool and there you'll create either a DVD or a USB thumb drive that you can boot from. And why this is good to have? Because first of all, it has tools that the reset PC does not. Example, you can re uh, you know, repartition a hard drive. If you want to install more than one operating system, a clean install will let you partition and actually um, you know, install on whatever um, drive you want to install Windows 10 on. It also has all sorts of tools for uh, help and recovery. It has much more options and is better. Basically, uh, a PC enthusiast will prefer that to reset because it has the tools to install exactly the way you want. Uh, well, reset this PC does not have all these options available. But like I said, for 90% of users, that's enough. And it's more of a more advanced computer thing, you know, than it is uh, basically uh, something for everybody. And that's why I think reset this PC and remove everything is good because it's an easy way to do it for someone that's not very um, tech oriented. Now, a lot of people ask me, once again, a question, why should I remove everything if I can keep everything? And you know what? That's the th major issue here. A lot of you have been talking about being upgraded from Windows 8 to Windows 10, finding that it's slow. And most of the people that I've seen that told me that actually kept everything when they upgraded. And you know what? I suspect that some of the programs that were pre-installed might actually not be 100% compatible with Windows 10, and it slows down your computer. You know, I opted on my Windows 8.1 machine to erase everything when I upgraded for the simple reason that I knew that with all the tweaks and all the software that was pre-installed, I would probably run into problems maybe and have a slow Windows 10 after upgrading. And it was cool because I re reset the PC and I really uninstalled everything. It was just a Windows, clean Windows 10 install, which was very nice and actually is very fast. So I didn't want to have, you know, possible problems from the old install and the new one. That's why I wanted to erase everything. And, you know, basically most people don't want to erase everything because they're not necessarily very uh, advanced on computers and it's complicated to reinstall everything. And, you know, it's okay. And for a lot of you, probably the PC goes fine. There's nothing, you know, no problem there. But I, I do 
you know stress out that it's much much better to do a clean install uh, by resetting and removing everything or if you're an advanced user really to you know just remove everything reformat the hard drive and reinstall Windows 10 so uh, these are my two cents worth of information here uh, I think it's always better to erase everything it eliminates the chances of having uh, problems later on and uh, basically a clean install is more for an advanced PC user and does have many many tools that you can't get in the reset this PC um, you know including partition and uh, dual boot and stuff like that if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel it will be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions anything you want to know please feel free to ask it's uh, always fun to have your feedback and I try to answer questions if possible. If you've got problems, error messages, leave them on the channel in the comments because I do take note of them and try to see if I can find you know, some uh, fixes for those. And if I see a problem that seems to be common to everyone, of course I'll make a video and you know, try to help everyone if possible. So thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the channel.